quite a few of these, and the stories behind those angels are really quite remarkable. So I've been reading prior, directly from the, the, the people's uh, own words, if you like. So, um, what is Angels Beacons of Hope? It is a unique Irish initiative designed to do three things. It's trying to change the national conversation from doom and gloom to hope. It's going to raise the profile of four vital Irish charities. And it's also going to try and raise funds for those charities. Um, about a year ago, um, I came up with this idea to um, build eight foot tall, five foot wide fiberglass angels. And the idea was to gift each of those angels to various uh, celebrities, sports stars, and of all the people that we have, um, we said to them that our angels are very positive angels. They're very optimistic angels. And there's no religious connotation attached to them. And we designed the angels specifically to have a contemporary design rather than uh, any other type of design. So um, we took quite a long time designing all that. We then had to find a manufacturer, and we unfortunately couldn't find a manufacturer in Ireland. Um, so we found one in the UK who, believe it or not, makes caravans. And so we went to them, and they had a fantastic facility. Um, they've got a huge amount of interest in uh, unusual items, so they were, they were delighted to take on the, the, the project. They manufactured to inspect it to make sure it was exactly what we wanted. Um, I arrived over to North England to um, a place in County Durham just outside Newcastle, and remarkably, um, the okay, angel yeah, quite yeah, close to that, yeah, actually, very yeah. close to it. And uh, when I arrived in, they were they were just finishing off the angel, and there were three hardened Northern England guys uh, of varying ages. Um, and they were working away on us. And so when I came and I saw this angel for the first time, uh, in my mind, this was the physical manifestation of an idea I had a year ago. Mm -hmm. And when I stood in front of it for the first time and looked up at it, I was a little bit emotional, nearly shed a tear. Um, and when I turned around to the three Northern guys, I said, sorry lads, had a bit of a moment there. And the three lads were looking at each other, and then the older of the three said, you know, mate, we didn't know really what we were making when we were making this. But when we all stood back from it the first time, we had a bit of a moment ourselves, <laughs> which really said that this, I knew then that we, I had something special, that something had been created by quite a number of people. So the next thing uh, we did was we looked at the various charities that would benefit uh, I've been connected to each charity in various ways. Um, the first charity, Right to Sight, is um, a charity that was started by an Irish uh, consultant, ophthalmologist, uh, by, by the name of Kate Coleman. And Kate Coleman, at her kitchen table three years ago, came up with an idea to try and solve um, the problem of cataract removal, or lack of, across Africa. Um, 